Hi, I'm Matt with the trailer Today we're going to be talking about the Flint Hill Goods rooftop cargo basket on the 2023 Toyota Highlander. Now this is going to be a great option if you can't really fit any more stuff inside the back of your vehicle or you just don't want to just because maybe it's a little bit dirtier, maybe it has sand, water, snow on it, then you'll be able to store that up top so it's kind of away from everything else. Our carrier is going to be made of steel and it's going to have a black powder coat finish to it. So since it's made of steel, it's going to be very durable and it's going to make for a lot of great hook on points, even from these thinner rungs. Um, but since it is made of steel, anywhere that like it's kind of gets scratched and that black powder coat finish comes up, that's going to make it more susceptible to corrosion. Um, that's why it's kind of nice that we have these grommets here by these bolts, just to kind of prevent any water from getting in there and rusting the insides out. Another nice feature about it is it can hold up to 165 pounds. So I'd also keep in mind, uh, yes, you have to counter in the weight of the carrier, roof rack, and any additional gear you have on that because that uh, combined weight might be too much for your roof to handle. And on the front of it, we're gonna have this front fairing and that's just going to help reduce wind noise. What I like about it is it's constructed from metal. So uh, on some other carriers we have, they're made out of plastic. So they're a little bit more susceptible to breaking, unlike this one. And behind it, we're going to have these clamps. And we're going to have these rubber knobs on top that bolt into this U-bolt uh, at the bottom. What I like about these knobs is they have these tops to them. And on a lot of other carriers, these uh, bolts pop through the top and can kind of grab onto any bags or gear and rip them open. On the bottom of our U-bolt though, we're going to have this rubber coating. That's just going to prevent any damages from occurring on our crossbars. As for how it's going to sit on top of your system, it's going to add just about a little bit over five inches to, uh, from the top of your crossbar to the top of your basket. So that's something that keep in mind especially when you have any gear that kind of sticks out over the top of this just by a bit if you're in any low clearance zones you just need to make sure that that doesn't interfere with anything above you um, as for the interior how what a height or a depth is going to be is going to be just about four inches so you can probably keep anything maybe a little bit more than four inches maybe upwards of six inches but if you keep going higher and higher it's gonna be less stable and that's when you really, or when it's really recommended that you use straps too. One of the downsides about the clamps though is how they fit onto our system. So our, our clamps are gonna be adjustable per rungs. And in our case, when you try to adjust them, they're gonna sit kinda not perfectly on there. You're still gonna have a lot of the space that's hanging off. And it's gonna fit like that too because on the Highlander we have our flush rails that require fixed uh, roof rack systems put on. So we won't be able to adjust our uh, crossbars for a, uh, the carrier. Now the carrier's max crossbar spread is 32 inches, which we're pretty much pushing that now since we have a 31 inch crossbar spread. But with how compact it is, we're still gonna have plenty of room to open up our hatch to gather any more gear and we're still going to have access to our sunroof up front. If you liked everything you saw today, that was a look at the Flint Hill Goods rooftop cargo basket on the 2023 Toyota Highlander.